imagined. When God was satisfied with creation, he brushed his hands together, and the crumbs that fell unnoticed from his fingers into the sea formed the Cabo Verde Islands. the center of the world. It is where all the world roots cross and meet. It is a country of freedom and opportunities, a country where everyone can grow and prosper. It is therefore worth learning about and experiencing our islands of Cabo Verde. From the sublime power of the volcanoes, to the unspoiled and never-ending white sandy beaches, from the rugged magnificence of its cliffs and valleys, to the calm but joyful cities and villages. Each island offers unique and distinctive scenery and endless opportunities, making the whole experience totally unlike any other destination. right in the middle of the great air routes and seaways that join three continents. Its strategic location makes the country a fundamental port of call for everyone who sails the Atlantic or flies over it. A young and strong nation in constant development has proved by its modern infrastructure and the quality of its services. With one of the strongest economies in Africa and a very high rate of growth, the country represents great business and investment opportunity due to its political and financial stability, favorable tax rates for foreigners, technological modernization and the unstoppable growth of tourism. Ten islands and eight islets form this fascinating archipelago. Santiago is the largest island and home to the capital Praia, the biggest city of Cabo Verde, and the business and administrative center. Next to Praia is the first European city in the tropics, Rivaira Grande, a breathtaking piece of history. The rest of the island is green with rugged mountains, pleasant beaches and a beautiful coastline. Few places in the world are as spectacular as Fogo. The whole island is a huge volcano emerging from the sea. A new massive grey volcanic cone still active and surrounded by flowing lava comes out of the old crater, surely one of the wonders of the world. The rest of the island is surprisingly colorful, with verdant scenery alongside beautiful black rock formations. Boa Vista is the sunbathers paradise, with spectacular unspoiled beaches and excellent conditions for all kinds of water sports. Along with its beaches, it provides astonishing landscapes inland, forming a series of desert sand dunes and palm tree oases. Brava is the smallest, the whitest, and the greenest of the islands. It has beautiful and peaceful villages and deep valleys, along with a stunning mountain range. The coastline offers some of the most scenic bays in the whole country. 
Sun is the major tourism destination. The whole island is surrounded by magnificent white sandy beaches and crystal clear water, full of high profile resorts and all kinds of facilities. Sun is known as one of the top places in the world for water sports, especially wind or kite surfing. Fishing, diving, surfing, sunbathing, the perfect holiday destination. Sandoan Tao provides the most dramatic scenery. The stunning extensive mountain range divides the island in two. The grey ribbon-like road twists and turns over volcanic ridges and across deep gorges, providing breathtaking views in every direction. Mayo is peaceful and quiet. A paradise where you can get away from it all. Desert-like landscapes. Small oases and vast, deserted, unspoiled, awesome beaches. All surrounded by turquoise water, which will make you feel closer to heaven than ever. São Vicente is home to Mindelo, known as the cultural capital of the archipelago. Located in a picturesque bay, it is full of music and rhythm home to the liveliest carnival of the country. Around the island you will find excellent beaches and delightful natural lagoons, as well as some volcanic scenery. San Nicolau is quiet and peaceful, full of lovely villages and deep valleys with colonial-style houses, which remains quite unspoiled. This line is rugged, but it also harbors some charming bays. An extensive network of flights and ferries has brought the islands together and connected them with the rest of the world. Airports are in constant development with several new ones built over the last few years. International flights are increasing as the terminal facilities are improving. Cabo Verde also provides security and information to all transatlantic flights due to its strategic location and its high-tech equipment. Thanks to its unique location, it is likely to become the most important transshipment hub in the Atlantic. Good governance and a dynamic private sector have created an attractive investment environment. Tourism and property development have been the main growth industries and its banking sector continues to grow very fast to the extent that the country is likely to become an international financial center over the coming years. Technology is also evolving fast in a country with a young and highly qualified population, leading the way to creating an international services center that will allow worldwide companies to benefit from the strategic location of this unique archipelago. The alternative energy sector is also expanding rapidly thanks to its sunny yet windy climate, while the tourism sector is exploring new areas such as ecotourism that will benefit from the incredibly diverse landscapes, finding alternative routes for visitors from the four corners of the globe. Walking through these islands is like giving a blind man eyes. Everyone will find their own place in this very special and welcoming country. discover this astonishing land that you will never forget. Prepare to feel the world's heart beating.